Welcome to Network Theory Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakya, is going to explain you equivalent inductance calculation for series connection of inductor using dot convention. So here you see we have L1 and L2 connected in series and dot convention that is given by these red dots and here mutual inductance is M in between L1 and L2 then we are little bit to find equivalent inductance at A A dash terminal. So let us say we have equivalent inductance that is L equivalent you see I am connecting it over here. Then to calculate L equivalent what I will do is I will connect supply here so that is V. So here also I need to connect supply. And because of this supply V, current I that will pass in this loop. So here also current I that will pass in the loop. Now see due to this supply V, there will be induced EMF in L1 as well as in L2 because of mutual inductance in between L1 and L2. So using dot convention, we are delivered to solve this. So here step by step I'll explain how to identify induced EMF in L1 and L2. Now you see here terminal A and L1 is here. Now induced EMF in L1 due to L2 that will be there as per this dot convention. And you see current is flowing like this. So current is entering in L1 and L2. So induced EMF will be having polarity plus minus and the value of induced EMF that is mutual inductance M into current due to L2. So that will be DI by DT. So induced EMF in L1 that is having polarity plus minus M DI by DT. After that we have L2 connection. So let me connect L2 here and now induced EMF in L2 that will be due to current polarity entering entering means it should be having polarity plus minus and its value is in mutual inductance M into rate of change of current in other inductor so current through L1 is I. So into di by dt that I need to write and now I am completing this circuit. Now see here in this circuit in loop current i is flowing right. So with this circuit I will be applying Kirchhoff voltage law in loop i. So in this loop voltage is V which is what we are applying as a supply. So that is equals to now you see current I is passing through L1. So voltage across L1 that is L1 into DI by DT. Then you see this induced EMF that is having polarity plus minus. So here I need to write plus M DI by DT. Then L2 is there. So potential across L2 is L2 into di by dt and then this polarity is plus minus so plus m di by dt. Now you see here in this equation di by dt is common so I am taking it common so here there will be l1 plus l2 and plus m plus m so it will be 2m into di by dt. Now you see this equation that we need to use along with this circuit. So in this circuit I can say that V is equals to L equivalent into di by dt. So if you compare this and this equation then we will be getting L equivalent that is L1 plus L2 plus 2m. So now you can observe 
L equivalent is L1 plus L2 plus 2M in case of series connection of L1 and L2 with dot convention entering entering and your answer will be same as if this dot convention is there with leaving leaving polarity right now one more combination that I am going to consider that is entering leaving condition so let us say for this again equivalent inductance that is L equivalent now to calculate L equivalent I'll be connecting supply V here and that will generate current I in this loop so here also I'll be considering supply V and a current I in this loop now by applying KVL we will identify L equivalent and for that we need to consider mutual inductance in between L1 and L2 along with this dot convention so here let me explain you that step by step so first we have inductance L1 here and with this L1 induced EMF due to L2 that will be happening based on this dot convention where current is entering with L1 and leaving with L2 so entering leaving will make induced EMF polarity minus plus and value of induced EMF that has to be mutual inductance M into current passing through second inductor so that is di by dt now second inductor l2 is there so i'm connecting l2 here and emf generated in l2 due to l1 that will be happening as per this dot convention so here entering and here leaving is there so polarity of induced emf that is minus plus again and induced emf value is m mutual inductance into d by dt of current passing through first inductor that is i so i am writing i here and let me complete circuit now in this circuit current flowing in the loop that is i so let us apply kirchhoff voltage law in this loop so see here supply is v so i am writing v and that is equals to now you see in this loop first inductor l1 is there and current through that is i so potential across inductor l that is l1 that is l1 into di by dt then you see with this induced emf polarity is minus plus so i need to write minus then m di by dt then l2 is there so that is having emf l2 into di by dt and then polarity is minus plus so i need to write minus here m di by dt now you can take di by dt common so i can rewrite this as v is equals to l1 plus l2 minus 2m into di by dt now you see we have considered this as equivalent circuit so if you apply kvl here then you will be having v is equals to l equivalent into di by dt so if you compare this and this then you will be getting l equivalent that is l1 plus l2 minus 2m so this is how we can identify equivalent inductance and see if polarity is leaving entering in that case also your answer will be this only so i hope now it is clear to you like how we can identify equivalent inductance based on dot convention and based on dot convention we can identify induced emf right so i'll solve few more examples that will results into clear understanding with you so just stay tuned with this playlist Definitely that will be going to help you.